Hello class. Before I start with the new chapter fraction, I just want to inform you that we have to practice whole numbers and integers in the next week along with the fraction chapter. Yes? So that after finishing uh, fraction, I will be taking a practice class with you all. And I will guide you how we will do that class. So whenever I will announce a practice class, you should be ready with the particular chapter. Chapter will be in the order. That is if the first chapter for practice will be whole number, then integers and then fraction. Yes. So we will be doing in this order and I will tell you that be ready for the practice class and be ready for practice class means the whole concept should be ready. I know that you children were focusing on chapter 1 till this time but I am giving you one week time more to practice whole number and integer thoroughly. If any doubt come across, you should message that to me. Okay. So next time I want everyone scoring full marks in maths. So with this aim, let us proceed and start fraction chapter. You have read about this concept in your previous classes also in class 5th, 4th you have you know dealing with fractions. Now if somebody asks you what is a fraction? What do we say? We will say fraction means part of a whole. Now let us understand this through this concept. For, for instance one day you decided to bring one pizza. Now here I have drawn one pizza. Now how many slices are there in the pizza? Total 8 slices are there. Now in first situation what happened that uh, you and your friend only two people were there and you decided to eat the pizza equally. Yes what I said two pizza uh, sorry, want to eat pizza equally. So, obviously, the fraction, obviously, you are going to make the portions. You are going to make the equal part of one whole pizza. So, whenever you are dealing with this concept that you are making the parts, you are making the portion of a whole thing, means we are talking about fraction. Yes? So what fraction you will eat when there are two people eating one pizza? Okay? There are two people and one pizza. So what will be the fraction for pizza for each friend? Here also I have mentioned for each friend. So when I look at this one full figure, this one complete figure can be divided into these equal portions. Whenever we deal with the fractions, we have to divide our figure into equal parts. Yes? Now here, how many friends are there? Or how many people are going to eat the pizza? Two people. So what is the best possible way to divide this one whole figure into equal part? Yes, that is one semicircle, another semicircle. Yes, left portion, left is semicircle, right is also semicircle. So whenever I am making a part of a whole thing, I have to make sure that I am having equal portions. So, in this first case, the equal portions will be this semicircle and right side semicircle. Yes, these are the two semicircle. I am taking this as the diameter of the pizza. Now, I am getting two semicircle. 
सो आउट ऑफ टू टोटल टू पार्ट्स आर देयर आउट ऑफ टू पोर्शन वन विल बी ईटन बाय वन फ्रेंड अनदर वन विल बी ईटन बाय अनदर फ्रेंड एंड देयर फॉर अवर फ्रैक्शन बिकम दिस सो हाउ आई केम टू फ्रैक्शन हाउ आई आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द फ्रैक्शन यू हैव टू फर्स्ट काउंट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इक्वल पार्ट्स इन दिस केस द टोटल इक्वल पार्ट्स आर टू सो दैट विल कम इन द डिनोमिनेटर एंड वन पार्ट इज गोइंग टू ईटन बाय वन फ्रेंड सो वन विल कम इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड दिस इज हाउ वी राइट डाउन द फ्रैक्शन फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन नाउ केस टू नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ टू फ्रेंड्स इंस्टेड ऑफ टू फ्रेंड्स थ्री फ्रेंड्स आर शेयरिंग दिस पिज्जा ओके इन दिस केस आई हैव डिवाइडेड माई पिज्जा इन टू एट एट इक्वल पोर्शन लिसन इट केयरफुली वेन एवर वी आर डीलिंग विथ फ्रैक्शन मेक श्योर योर होल थिंग इज डिवाइडेड इन टू इक्वल पोर्शन सो हेयर द इक्वल पोर्शन फॉर केस टू आर एट वन टू थ्री एंड दिस इज हाउ एट स्लाइसिस ऑफ अ पिज्जा आर मेड यस now your first friend said that i want to eat three slices or three portions means he wants to eat one two three the three parts are going to eaten by him now if i want to write down in terms of fraction how much how uh, what is the fraction of pizza eaten by the first friend okay so whenever we are writing the fraction we have to count the total number of slices first and that total will come in the denominator look here fraction of pizza eaten by the first friend will be 3 by 8 the total number of slices will come in the denominator and in the numerator number of slices will come whatever is eaten by him yes so this is how we write the fraction similarly another friend also said that i want to eat three slices so the 1 2 3 has been eaten next next three slices are four fifth and sixth slice means two friend has eaten till this sixth slice how many are left Seven and eight. That is two slices. So if th third friend is there, he is going to get only two portions. Two portions out of how many slices? Eight. So whenever we write down the fraction, make sure the total is coming in the denominator, and the corresponding part or portions will come in the numerator. Now you will see here. I have simplified this fraction, which you were doing in your previous classes also. So two by eight. When you are going to simplify two using two table, two ones are two and two fours are eight. So this the both numerator and denominator are divided by two. Same number can only divide numerator. If I am dividing here, I am using four here. I can't. Uh, you have to use four in the numerator also. If I am dividing the numerator by two, you have to divide with the same number. I hope these concepts you have recalled. Yes, these things you were doing in your previous class also to write down the fraction in simplest form. Now, whatever we have learned till now, let us use it in this figure. I want each one of you to observe this figure carefully. and tell me what is the fraction of the shaded portion there are four portions portions four parts of this whole figure whenever we talk about fraction always keep in mind you should have parts you okay so here i have four parts can i write down the fraction of this figure if you are thinking yes 
you have to think about the answer and those who are saying no they should also think about the answer for this you just uh, think about the answer and uh, if i say that those who are saying no they are right we can't write down the fraction of this figure no completely no now say now think about the answer to this question why why i am saying i can't write down the fraction of this figure now listen to my reason although the parts are there do you think all the four portions are equal here yes they are not equal in the case of unequal portions i can't write down fraction yes so in this figure what is the fraction of shaded portion answer will be not possible and now my class will be able to give me the answer why it is not possible because each part is not equal okay you can write down fractions only in those scenarios in those situations where equal parts equal portions are there yes so now let us conclude what we have learned in today's class these conclusions you will write down in your copy the conclusion the first conclusion no need to write down the above theory okay just write down for first point that fractions are part of a whole number like here whatever fractions we are we have written it means that they are going to be smaller than one complete object okay if you have one whole a uh, whole is represented by 1 so one whole is divided into 3 by 8 then 3 by 8 and last one was 1 by 4 means these three together are going to make one whole the portions the three different portions for the friends together will make one whole pizza yes now next is whenever we have to write down a fraction how it is going to be represented in the fraction there are two numbers the number which is above the bar is called numerator the number which is below the bar is called denominator yes then while writing down the fractions there should be equal parts only now here again i am you know using the same concept this rectangle has been divided into six equal portion whereas in this case the rectangle same rectangle have equal uh, have six portions but do you think they are equal all are all portions are equal to each other no so we can't write down fraction in this case here we will write down fraction yes now if i say i am able to write down fraction in this case tell me the fraction of shaded portion i want to write down the fraction of the shaded portion whenever such situation come keep in mind that in case of fraction always below the bar that is the denominator part is the total number of portion how many boxes are there in this one rectangle six so always start writing down with the total number i am here also mentioning total parts and because we are talking about shaded portion how many portions are shaded only two so two will come in the numerator i hope this is clear to everyone how to write down the fraction in uh, you just rewind the video and listen to this point again now in the first exercise we will be asked to write down this fraction in words also now in when, how to write down in words 
let us start with numerator that is 2 then there is a bar how you will represent bar in the word you will draw a small hyphen okay this is clear first write down the name of the number then the bar will be represented by hyphen and the denominator part will be will always have a uh, what do you call suffix which means th will be there means the word will end with the th or the name of the number will end with the th so what is the name of this number six so here i will write down sixth two sixth okay uh, but here i can see that i can simplify this number also Div uh, divide the numerator by 2 and denominator by 2 what will be the fraction on dividing by 2 i will get 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 how do we call it in words 1 1 this is hyphen and 3 is third not three threeth there there is no such word like that one third i hope both ways the answer is clear to you now all of you take out exercise one in this exercise there are many simple questions so those who have the book they will do it in the book okay i have uh, mentioned here but those who don't have the book they should write down the question from my video and write down the solution also. Okay children, that is going to save your time. Otherwise, the work will remain pending if you will wait for the book. Okay, so I hope my instruction is clear. Those who have book, they will do particular question in the book. And those who don't have, they will write down the question and answer in their copy. Now exercise 6.1 first question write down the following division expressions into fraction. Now whenever you see this expression I am taking third part 113 divided by 128. The first part the first number before division sign is always numerator and how do we write down numerator above the bar and this division sign is represented by this bar. And after the division, whatever number is there, it will come in the denominator. So, do rest of the part in the book. Next is writing down the fraction in words. Here, whenever we are writing with in words, start with the numerator. So, here numerator is 3. We have written 3. The bar will be represented by this small hyphen. Below that bar, whatever number is there, it should end with TH. So, I have written 10th. Similarly, in next question, read the numerator. What is written here? 15. So, I have written 15. Then bar is represented by hyphen. And below that is 28. But this is, uh, but we have to add the word TH. In the end. So that is 28th. So 28th. Okay. Now next question. Question number 3. This we can do in the book itself. It's a one word answer. The write the following numbers in fraction form. How do we do it? Like I have taken the third part. 7 hyphen 14th. Use this same concept. Uh, sorry, 40th. Use the same concept. 7. 7 will be the numerator. Then hyphen here means bar. The next number is 40th. 40th is written. 40th is related to 40. Okay. So I have written 40 here. So start writing, reading the number in this way. But write the fraction in this order. Top to bottom. Read the number left to right. Write the fraction top to bottom. Next is fourth part. 13 hyphen 125th. 13. 
13 is written hyphen bar is written 125th okay just write down the number now question number 4 write the fraction for each of the figure i am taking the third part now all of you look here the third part i have to write down the fraction which portion is shaded this portion yes now i have already told you we write down the fractions for only those figures where you can have equal parts do you think all the figures have equal parts like this so how should we divide this figure let us frame the triangles out of it okay so let me join the two ends uh it's better to do it in this way okay diagonally it is going in this way na so let us now uh what else we can do let us do it in the same way this small triangle uh, sorry rectangle is divided into two triangles and i am doing for uh, same thing for other rectangles also so that i can get equal parts now i hope now it is clear to you that i have i am able to write down the fraction of this whole figure which i was not able to do it earlier okay so now let us count the triangle the portion the shaded portion is like a triangle let us count the triangle this is first triangle this is second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth how many tri uh, triangles it is going to have eight triangle now how do we write down the fraction we write down fraction by writing the total in the denominator yes and whatever is asked to you whatever shaded portion is there that will come in the numerator and how many shaded portions were there only one so the answer is 1 by 8 rewind the video listen to my things uh, words again that why i have divided my whole figure here yes now let us write down for the seventh pa part whenever we have to write down the fraction we have to count the equal parts how many equal parts are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 will come in the denominator yes i have counted correctly yes 3 and 7 and how many portion are shaded you have to be very careful whether i am asking shaded portion or unshaded portion but in this question because shaded word is written count the fraction of the shaded part so i will count only shaded part 1 2 3 that will become my numerator okay this is how we write down the fraction in fraction we write down the denominator first that is the total number then we write down the desired shaded portion now question number 5 is a very interesting question you should do it in the copy use different colors okay to uh, shade your parts not all the parts should be shaded with different colors if you are shading use one color okay to show uh, you uh, show the uniformity like in the above figure they have done i am taking this part fifth third uh, fifth question third part the fraction here is 1 by 4 and i have to shade the figure now 4 in the denominator means total four parts do i have total four parts here part 1 2 3 4 but out of 4 how many i have to shade one so numerator will tell me the shaded portion so i have shaded one portion any one triangle you can shade yes now let us read question 6 and 7 
in question 6 we have to write down the fraction and i have already given you the uh, point in conclusion how to write down the fraction in question 7 uh, the total dresses are 35 and out of that 21 are stitched and then accordingly you have to write down the fraction total will come in the denominator whatever is stitched will come in the numerator do these two questions in the book itself now question 8 9 and 10 are very important and uh, as the duration of the class has extended i will take these three questions in the next class thank you for today